What's up, guys? Pet Man here, Kalen of Varsity. We're going to take a little drive down in Union County. Going to take a look at the uh, Piedmont Panthers. Going on the road to play the Porter Ridge Pirates in their home opener and first game of the season. Uh, Porter Ridge was off last week. Uh, I did see Porter Ridge in a scrimmage against Statesville, and I'll tell you right now, they looked impressive. Uh, from the organization of the team, they ran off and on the field. Uh, they gave great effort on every play. They kind of went back to the split back uh, gun offense that they had so much success with uh, previously when they made their runs deep in the playoffs. And uh, Coach Mike Hertz is back uh, from kind of helping Coach Harden out a couple places, being defensive coordinator at Providence and uh, Independence. And um, Coach Hertz was a defensive coordinator uh, under the other Harden uh, when Porter Ridge was winning so much. And I'm glad to see that he's uh, back in a place where, obviously, he's um, wanted and uh, loved by the fans. Um, Piedmont lost last week 14 to nothing to Hickory Ridge. And um, Piedmont did not rush the ball very well. They only had about 42 yards rushing. And uh, Coach Hyatt's offense, that's what they do. They run the football. They run the football. <clears throat> excuse me. And they run the football. <laughs> so, um and they try to set you up for play action off of that as well. And um, anytime you go and play a uh, true double wing uh, power kind of team, you got to worry about those tight ends when they do throw the ball. Um, obviously, the key for Porter Ridge is they got to load up against that run game. Um, sometimes uh, and when you're playing a double wing, there's two schools of thought. You want to submarine uh, your D tackles. And you want to get in the habit of um, getting your D linemen to follow the guards and your linebackers to read those guards when they're pulling. Um, so I'm sure Coach Hurts is working on that um, over and over and over again this week. Uh, for Porter Ridge, um, I think you got to really establish the run. That's what they did in their scrimmage. They established the run and they had some nice short control passes, quick passes um, off of that. Um, they, and they have some good-looking kids. Um, if, we, if you get those, let those guys get into space, I think they can make some big plays. And, um, you know, that's a possibility. Uh, Piedmont is going to have to um, really drill the uh, dive option uh, that they run off of um, the split-back look. Um, it's a dive, it's the quarterback, and then it's pitch. And um, the quarterback does a really good job with his reads that I saw. Um Porter Ridge can be had in the secondary, but this is not, Piedmont's not a team to take advantage of that. So it's a good matchup for Porter Ridge here. Um, and it's, it would be a nice win to uh, start the season off for them. I think they're flying under the, white, the radar a good bit. And, um, you know, they play in a tough conference in Charlotte, but I think they can get off to a good start here early in the season. Um, stand at the Boneyard. And um, I think you're going to have a big crowd down there Friday night. So uh, play safe, guys. We appreciate you watching. Thanks.